Scott with Yakima here. Let's learn how to install the awesome Skyrise rooftop tent. Remember, before you start the install, make sure your vehicle's roof is Skyrise ready. Visit yakima.com forward slash Skyrise to see the vehicles we've tested and designated as a fit or no fit for the Skyrise. Virtually all factory crossbars are too flexible for rooftop tents, so vehicles on the approved fit list will require a Yakima roof rack system. Vehicle is a fit? Then let's go. The Skyrise is easy to install, but it is still a large and heavy item, so we highly recommend getting a friend to help out at certain points. Okay, your tent comes with the tent itself, a ladder, ladder brackets, ladder hardware, rainfly, rainfly rods, a cover, and the mounting hardware. Tip the tent on its end so that you have access to the pre-drilled holes on the underside of the tent. Unfasten the four Velcro straps on the side of the tent and allow the tent to unfold. Unzip the tent, remove the items inside, and set them aside. Unzip the side windows to access the mount attachment holes under the mattress. Time to attach the mounts to the bottom of the Skyrise. Take careful note of the hole layout and the orientation of your mounting hardware. If you plan on deploying your tent off the side of your vehicle, orient the hardware like this. If you plan on rear deploying the tent, this is the way to go. Be sure the knobs are all facing the same direction and the locks are on the same side and facing outward. It is a good idea to grab a friend that can help keep the tent steady while installing the hardware. Using the provided hex wrench, loosen all four side bolts on the clamps. Slide two square nuts into the slot of each mounting track and align the nuts with the correct pre-drilled holes in the tent floor. Reach inside the open side windows of the tent and feed the bolts through the holes in the tent floor under the mattress, then into the square nuts in the mounting hardware. Thread the bolts all the way in with your hand and tighten the bolts down completely with the hex wrench. Now, flip your Skyrise over to rest on the mounting hardware. Find the pre-drilled holes under the stickers near the edge. Lay the ladder mounting brackets over the holes, so it looks like this. Thread a washer onto each of the long screws. Reach in through the open window of the tent and insert the long screws up through the tent floor and through the ladder brackets. Thread a lock nut onto each screw. Then, using the included hex wrench and an open end or adjustable wrench, tighten down the brackets. Align the ladder with the ladder brackets like this. And using the two wrenches, secure the ladder with the short bolt, washer, and lock nut. Be sure those bolts are fully tightened. Time to put the cover on. Thread the cover, Velcro side up, into the round channel. Secure your tent with the four Velcro straps. Then pull the cover over the tent and secure the buckles. Next step, measure the distance between the crossbars on your vehicle. Tilt the Skyrise back on its end. Open all the clamps completely. Slide the clamps along their tracks so they will match up with your crossbar spread measurement. Be sure to measure from the fixed side of one clamp to the fixed side of the other. You may need to loosen the side bolts of the clamps in order to slide them easily along their tracks. Okay, once they are in position, partially tighten the side bolts. Now it's time to have a friend help you lift the Skyrise onto your crossbars. Be sure the outer clamp is not more than one inch outside of the tower. Once it's set correctly, tighten the clamps, making sure each one is seated correctly on your bars. Now, fully tighten the clamps to their tracks using the side bolt and the provided Allen wrench, and lock them up. Test your install, then retighten if it's necessary. Done. You are ready to roll to camp. Pitching your Skyrise tent is super easy. Park someplace level. Unzip and unbuckle the cover. Fold it forward. Then roll it up and secure it with the ties. 
Undo the four Velcro straps on the side of the tent, like this. Now the fun part. After releasing the Velcro strap on the ladder, grab the bottom rung and pull it to extend the ladder all the way out. Push down on the ladder and walk backwards a couple steps, and your skyrise unfolds and opens right up. Keep the ladder extended and almost vertical. Then rest the ladder's feet on the ground. Now, starting with the upper rung, adjust the ladder so the tent platform is level. Listen for a click as rungs lock into place. And remember, the ladder is supporting the tent. Don't retract it until you're packing things up. Double check your tent deployment by ensuring the tongue and groove system is engaged on the side of the tent, like this. The Skyrise comes with the Rainfly installed, but can be stowed and deployed with the Rainfly on or off. If you choose to keep it on, you'll need to secure the Rainfly using the provided rods. With the fly loosely attached outside, climb inside the tent to secure it. Open all three windows. Then reach through each side window and locate the holes for the Rainfly rods. Place the straight end of the rod into the holes and hook the curved ends into the grommet holes on the Rainfly. Now do this through the front door and back window with the other four rods. Be careful, the rods are under tension, so don't stand under one during install or removal. Nice outside? Want a view of the stars? Take off the fly. Just undo the Velcro ties, unclip the buckles, and remove it for better ventilation and an awesome view of the sky. Time to break camp? Use the ladder to fold the tent back up. Collapse the ladder, fully retract it, and secure it with the Velcro straps. Then, secure the four Velcro straps on the sides of the tent. Now, unroll and replace the protective cover, connect the Velcro, zip it closed, and buckle it up. Done! When it's time to remove your Skyrise for storage, unlock and dial the clamps all the way open. Then, with a friend's help, lift it off and stow it away until your next adventure. See you next time.